Hello and welcome. If this is your first time and you are not a subscriber, I do say welcome, but I also humbly ask that you will please be sure to subscribe. Make sure you turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. And please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Let's jump right into today's project. So today I'm doing what's called a stash project. I'm stashing off everything that is purely in my stash, my supply. So what I'm starting off with are these really nice crystal looking um, serving utensils from the Dollar Tree. And what I'm doing is taking my hot tool and I'm separating the handle from the actual neck of the utensils. And to do so, I'm using my hot knife and I'm just going across the top of it. And once I've gone across the top, it just really allows me to snap the piece right in half and I've done this with about four to five packs here's a disclaimer if you use this hot tool please be sure that you use it in a nice well ventilated area because trust me those fumes ain't no joke so once all of my pieces have been um, done I'm taking this wooden medallion from the Dollar Tree or wooden disc and I have this trim from the General Dollar Store which I really like it has its own uh, adhesive on the back, but I'm not going to trust that. I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue and just to be sure that it's stable and it stays down. And I'm going to do my whole wooden piece in that. So once my wooden piece has been trimmed in my diamond wrap, I'm now taking my mirror from the Dollar Tree. I've removed the feet from it and I'm going to go ahead and attach this to my wooden piece. And to do so, I am using, of course, our strong adhesive and our hot glue combination. If you don't know what this is for, it's not just an extra step. The hot glue works as a right now adhesion, while the strong adhesive sets up for a permanent or long term adhesion. Once those two have been adhered together, now I'm going to go ahead and adhere my um, candle holder to the bottom of the wooden disc. And again, using the, those two adhesives together. When I'm placing this, I'm making sure that I take my time to make sure that it's nice and centered and make sure that it's where it needs to be because once that hot glue hits it, that's all she wrote me guys. So now I'm coming in with my pieces that I um, have taken apart or disassembled with my hot knife. So I am going to start off by doing my placement in like the north, south, east, and west or like the, what is it? 12, 4, 6, and 9. I don't know. I ain't got no clock right in front of me. But y'all know what I'm saying. Mm. So I'm just starting have my placement. I'm going to do two, and then I'm going to do another two. Of course, have four. So you guys, I have definitely got to give a shout out to Val over at Valerie's Glamorous Council DIYs. This was totally inspired by her. She made this really nice, um, what is that thing? You know the thing that has a sand in it and the hourglass. There we go. She made this really nice hourglass using these same utensils. So total shout out to you, Val. Thanks for the inspiration. And again, to make these adhere to my project, what I am doing is I am taking a drop of my strong adhesive and my hot glue, and I'm placing them where I need for them to be placed. Once my four stationary uh, pieces have been put where they need to be put, now I'm gonna come back and take the rest of them and just fill in those um, spaces in between. Now I'm gonna take the actual neck of those utensils um, and fill in between each of those spaces that are left. 
If you can't find this particular set of utensils, they have um, another set that is just rounded on the ends. You guys, that will work perfectly fine as well. And looking in hindsight, I wish, I wish, I wish that I had have done these with different heights and staggering heights. I think that would have been really nice. So now, once I have finished putting those uh, neck pieces in, now, to even fill it out even more, because I still was not happy with it, I'm taking some of these little hors d'oeuvres, I'm going to call them hors d'oeuvres things, they look like pitchforks, but anyway, I'm snapping off the little fork portion, and then I'm just going to take the actual handles and glue them in between my spaces. Now, for some spaces, I could get two, and some I could only get one. And again, with this, I'm using um, my hot glue, just for video purposes right now. So now once that's done, I am going to take some of these diamond dazzlers that I had left over from a wedding. And I'm just going to go ahead and glue them on the tops of the actual shorter neck pieces. This is going to bring the project together and it's also going to cover up where we actually cut and separate our pieces. And then I'm also going to take these same little diamond dazzlers and I'm just going to go ahead and cover up around the bottom portion of the project where you can see a little bit of the glue where we were adhering the handles around the base. Now, if you don't want to use diamond dazzlers, the little clear gemstones from the Dollar Tree would totally work as well. So once it's done, I'm going to go ahead and glue it to the pedestal. Now you can use a plain glass candlestick from, candlestick holder, excuse me, from Dollar Tree if you wanted to, or you use whatever base you would like. This is just what I had on hand. Um, I got that piece on the bottom of the candlestick holder from a thrift store and I just glued the two pieces together. So to attach both of my pieces together, of course I'm using that same uh, glue technique. I place it where it needs to be and I'm going to let that sit, but I'm also going to apply a little bit of pressure. So here is the final reveal of what this stash project looks like. I think it came out really, really nice. Some of the pieces are not just at their straightest level. Some go in, some go out. Well, should I say some conclave and some enclave? I think it looks like a beautiful piece of abstract art. It also looks maybe like a crown to me. Either way, I think it's dazzling. I think it's really nice. I love it. So, this goes to show you what you can use from just your current stash. I encourage you to just take this and make it your own. Well, as we go into the new year, I hope that you all stay safe. And you know my prayers for you, as always, is that you stay blessed, that you stay healthy, and that you stay blessed. And remember, as we go into this new year, be conscious about the things that you want to change in your life. Until next time, be blessed in Jesus' name. Bye-bye.